Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And today we're going to do a video on Chock Full of Nuts, the full history of Chock Full of Nuts, including Jackie Robinson working for them, being the first black vice president to ever be the vice president or higher position in a national company. So before we do that, let's hear the Chock Full of Nuts jingle, one that we all remember. So the song that you heard, that famous song, was sung by William Black, the founder of the company, his wife, cabaret singer Paige Morton Black. And I find it interesting that William Black had the last name Black, because, you know, being the head of the company, how do people often take their coffee black? So it's kind of cool, it's a little cool little fact. So in 1926, William Black opened up his first roasting shop of nuts. They didn't even sell coffee back then. They were roasting nuts in Times Square in New York. and Eventually, when the Depression hit, a lot of New Yorkers couldn't afford the nuts anymore because, see, they were buying them on their way to Broadway and eating them during the Broadway shows. And when the Depression hit, they couldn't afford them anymore. So what he turned up doing was changing over to coffee. So he started making coffee. And when the coffee was a success, he ended up switching all the nut shops over to lunch counters. And the lunch counters were a really big hit because they had a signature sandwich that they served and it was the nutted cheese sandwich made of cream cheese and chopped nuts. And it was funny too, because when the depression hit, a lot of the coffee makers kept their coffee prices at five cents, but what they did was they watered the coffee down, but not William Black, he kept the price higher, maybe six cents, seven cents, and the coffee remained nice and strong, and the customers really enjoyed that. They, they needed a good cup of joe. Uh, during those tough times. In 1953, something significant happened. He started selling his coffee in grocery stores, and that was a really popular thing. And in 1955, Chock Full of Nuts was voted the best coffee permanently, the best coffee in New York City and the area. And that was saying something. To be the best in anything in New York City is quite an accomplishment. So something really significant happened way back in 1957. And of course, everyone's thinking about the Dodgers moving to California as well as the Giants. But this involves Jackie Robinson. Now, of course, Jackie Robinson was a pillar uh, in the baseball community, pillar in life. He did so many great things for the civil rights movement. But a lot of, what a lot of people don't know about Jackie Robinson was that the Dodgers were going to trade him at the end of the 57 season, which is when both of the teams went to California. But little did anyone know that William Black, who ran um, Chock Full of Nuts, had handpicked Jackie Robinson. He had, had known him and he wanted him to come work for them as the director of personnel and actually be the first vice president of a major uh, company who was a black man. And Jackie, of course, at that point, he had the onset of diabetes. His, his baseball skills were starting to diminish. And he really thought long and hard. He actually had a couple of manager opportunities to manage in the major leagues. He was also the first, what a lot of people don't know, the first black man to ever be a, a sports commentator on Major League Baseball. So Jackie had a lot, a lot of uh, opportunities. He was a very articulate man. And uh, so what ended up happening was he, uh, the Giants still had their offices still in New York City. And when the trade was put forward, Jackie Robinson actually wrote a letter to the head of the Giants. And he said, listen, I thought long and hard on this and I'm going to go to work for Mr. Black in, uh, in Chock Full of Nuts. And so began a very long uh, era for Jackie, which was a great era. He did that from 57 to 64, uh, made a lot of headway and did a lot of great things working for the company and uh, was just, you know, all around just an amazing person. So all of this was made possible, of course, from William, from William Black. And uh, it just was an amazing situation with this whole company. Uh, Jackie, of course, being the first player to break the color barrier. And we just passed the, uh, the 75th anniversary of this in 2022. And they made a commemorative uh, can to, to, uh, to commemorate it, right? So I'm going to show you this right now. And then we'll continue our talk on Chock Full of Nuts. So I remember the lunch counters when I was a little kid. I was born in 1965. And I remember going there, especially with my dad, there was one on Nassau Street that I remember going to. And a funny thing happened right around, you know, that time was that the coffee in the grocery store started selling 
better than the lunch counters were doing. So starting like in the 70s, you started seeing the lunch counters closing down, which was kind of sad. And then eventually the company was sold to Reese Brothers, like in, I think it was like 1984. Um, so it was kind of a sad thing, but like I do remember going there as a kid and they were fabulous. I mean, you went in there and you, you saw the menu up there and nice people working in there. It was uh, Usually they gave it to you within a minute or two. It was really fascinating. So I, I for one, have very fond memories of going to Chock Full of Nuts lunch counters. I'm not a really a coffee drinker. You know, I don't remember if they had Coke or Pepsi. You guys know I'm a huge Coca-Cola fan. I don't remember. If anybody knows that, just write me uh, an email or uh, drop me a comment on here. I'd love to find out Coke or Pepsi. So Chock Full of Nuts has been part of the American landscape for so, so long. And, uh, you know, you think back at so many memories, but you know something has made it into popular culture, in a sense, is when it makes it to a movie. There was a great movie called The Bucket List that was made back in 2008 with Morgan Freeman and uh, Jack Nicholson. And at the end of that movie, uh, it's basically about two guys who are just complete opposites and would never meet in real life but they both get like a, a kind of a death sentence they only have a year left to live they have cancer so he owns the hospital he uh Morgan freeman's a, a mechanic and um so what happens is they become friends they travel all over the world and at the end of the day when uh that time comes for one and for both of them they end up going into uh coffee cans on top of the himalaya mountains and what coffee cans that they decide to go in is the is the is the um, chock full of nuts coffee cans and i'll put a picture of that up here right now it's a great great movie a feel-good movie you know of course it's a little bit sad but the the premise of it is sad but it's it's really a cool movie to watch so like i said when it, something makes popular culture like that you really know that a product is really based in americana so before i go any further i want to um give a big shout out to my good friend veronica back in new york and her son sam all the support they give us for the Waffles Foundation. They're just really amazing. So appreciate them. And uh, they had the idea for this video, of course, too. So a uh, big shout out to Sam and Veronica on this video. So in conclusion, what could we say about Chock Full of Nuts? Well, uh, Chock Full of Nuts currently, they're opening up the actual coffee shops again. There's one in Brooklyn. They have one in Miami. There's also one in New Jersey. So it's kind of making a comeback and I hope it really happens. Uh, they even have the cheese sandwich, again, like they did back in the day. It's probably not as cheap as it was back in the day, but it's definitely worth the look. Next time I'm in Brooklyn, I'm gonna definitely check that out. And uh, like I say, just an all-time original, a great success story, the whole Jackie Robinson tie-in, just absolutely amazing. So thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you folks watching. Please subscribe. Drop me a comment if you have an idea for a future video. I'd love to hear it. I love you guys. Thank you very much. And of course, next time you drink a cup of coffee, think of chock full of nuts. The coffee with no nuts. Thanks, folks. Have a great time. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.